In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this Eisenhower matrix where if a task is important and urgent, then it will give you an action of do. So you have to do the task. If the task is not urgent, but it is important, then you have to decide when you're going to do the task. If the task is not important and not urgent, then you have to delete the task. And if the task is not important, but it is urgent, then you have to delegate it to someone else. So the way this database works is you can click on this button to add a new task. And then all of your tasks will show up inside of this inbox where you can add a date. You can set whether or not it's important and urgent. And then based of that, it will disappear and it will move to the calendar if you have a date or it will just show up inside of one of these views. So here's everything that you need to do. Here's everything that you need to decide when you're going to do them. So I can do tomorrow, for example. Here is everything that you need to delegate and here is everything that you need to delete. And then here on the calendar view, if I just move this task to today, then you'll see here on the today view, it will show this task. The link to this template is in the description below if you just want to duplicate it. Otherwise, let's start building this Eisenhower matrix. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a table view database. And then this database is going to be called Eisenhower matrix. And we're just going to delete this tag property as well as just create a call it box called Eisenhower matrix and then just drag and drop this table inside. We're going to change the call it box default color to just default and then we're going to hide the database title, highlight this text and then just make it bold, underline it and also change the text color. And then let's also just go ahead and give it an icon. So I'm just gonna do this one and then we're going to click on the database view, add a space and then also just add a different icon in order to just clean everything up and to make it look nicer. The first property we're going to add is going to be a date property. Then we're going to add a checkbox property, which is going to be for the done checkbox in order to mark the task as complete. We're just going to collapse this and move it to the front. And then we're going to add a select property, which is going to be called important. And here we're just going to choose the flame emoji and then for the options, we just want to add in yes and no, and then also just change the text color. And then what we want to do is just duplicate this property, rename this one to urgent, and then just add a clock emoji or clock icon. And yeah, these will have the same options. And now once we've got these two, let's just add in four different database entries for the four different types. So we want a do, a decide, a delegate and then also a delete option. So the next property we're going to add is going to be a formula, which is going to be called score. And this one is going to be to have a unique value for each of the four options. Because we want to create a formula that says if the value is this amount, then show do, decide to delegate or delete. So this formula is just for getting that value. So what we want to do is we want to use a ifs function and then say if the important select property is yes, then show the value one. Otherwise, if the important select property is no, then show the value three. And then what we wanna do is let's just tab this. So let's just add a tab here to make it underneath each other. Let's add a plus. And then we want to do the same thing for the urgent. So if, not the normal if, you want to actually use the ifs function. So if the urgent select property is yes, then show the value five otherwise if the urgent select property is no then show the value six so now if i click on done then you'll be able to see that we've got unique values for all of them the numbers that you use for this formula doesn't really matter as long as each of them has a unique value because now we can go ahead and create the actual formula which is going to be called action and then let's also just give this one an icon so i'm just going to select this one and then for this formula, we can now start with our ifs function. So here we want to say if the score is six, then show the text that says do. Otherwise, if the score is seven, then show text that says decide. Otherwise, if the score is eight, then show delegate. Let's just type that incorrectly. Delegate. And then if the score is nine, then show text that says delete. And if I click on done, then you'll see that each of them has do, decide, delegate, and to delete. But plain text is a little bit boring. So what we want to do is just add a style function at the end and then just add a B to make it bold and then also just specify the color. So for do, we want a red. And then we're just going to copy the style function, paste it to all of the other ones as well. 
and then we just change the text color so for the side we want blue for delegate we want purple and then for delete we want green so now if i click on done then you'll see that it is now in bold and also in a color and now the last part is going to be to just add an emoji in the beginning of the text and then add a space and then you just do that for all four of the different options so as you can see i've added emojis for all four of them and if i click on done then we now got our eisenhower matrix pretty much completed so i can now go ahead and change the select properties and as you can see the action will now update all right so now that you've got all the properties now it's time to create the different views so the first view is going to be the inbox so we're just going to use this table view i'm going to hide the score property because we don't need that and then for this one i'm just going to change the icon so i'm just going to use like a inbox icon or actually needs to be a down arrow so this one I'm just going to use that for the inbox and then i'm going to filter this to where the action is empty so here inside of your inbox is all of the tasks and ideas and things that you still need to process so if i just go ahead and add today's date for this one and then just add the importance and urgency then it will disappear because then it has an actual action all right now the next view that we're going to add is going to be a list view this one is going to be for the today view and i'm just going to use this button icon i'm going to hide the database title and then here what you want to do is just go to filter go to date and then change this one to where the date property is today and then for this view i'm also going to go inside of properties and then just show the done checkbox property and for this one i'm also going to move the today view in the front because when you open up your dashboard you want to see all of your daily tasks so for the next view we're going to just duplicate this one because it's also going to be a list view and then here i'm just going to add the flame emoji and for this one as you can tell this one is going to be for all the tasks that has the do action so i'm going to delete the today filter and then i'm just going to go to action and then basically just say that it needs to contain do so if i now go to my inbox and i just mark the important as yes and the urgent as yes then it will move to do and for this we can also go to the properties and then just show the action because it looks a little bit better so yeah you can do that it's not really relevant because it's filtered but oh well we'll do that we can also click on this view and then just duplicate and then just repeat the same process for all of the other views as well so for the decide view i'm going to add a clock icon for this one though i am going to use a table because for the decide view you want to have a date property so here i'm going to just filter this to all the tasks that has a decide and then here what you want is you want to just move the date property to the end and then just filter this one and add an advanced filter and then just filter this one to where the date property is empty so basically all the tasks goes into your inbox and then from here if it's decide if you don't have a date property for it if you don't know when to do it then it's going to go to the decide view and then it's going to stay here until you actually give a date to your task and then all of your tasks can show up on the calendar so i'm just going to copy one of these views and then just paste it here at the bottom as a linked view and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change this to calendar view, hide the database title, go in sort of properties and then just show the done checkbox property as well as the action. And then for this one, I'm just also going to add a colored box, call this one calendar, drag and drop it inside, make this bold, underlined and change the text color as well as give it an icon. So let's do the calendar icon and then also just remove this text and give us this one a calendar icon as well and now for the other two views so delete and delegate let's do delete first because this one is also going to be just a list view so let's do delete and give this one a trash icon let's do this one and filter this to where the action is delete and then we can just keep it like that and then the other one which is delegate we're going to duplicate the decide view because this one is also going to be a table and then here we can just use a person icon so let's maybe just use this one and then for this one we're going to filter this to where the action is delegate and now for this delegate filter we're going to delete this date filter and then we're going to add another property which is going to be a person property and then here you can tag the person that should get this task so i can tag one of the people that's inside of my community we have like a shared workspace link in the description but yeah i can tag one of them and then add them to this task you can also set this up with your virtual assistant so that as soon as something goes to the delegate section she gets the task in her task management system and then she can go ahead and do that thing but obviously i'm not going to cover that in this video 
but you can do that through automations but let's just stick with this for now so here for this delegate one you want to add a filter to where this is so let's do an advanced filter to where the person property is empty so the idea here is that everything goes into your inbox and then from here you process all the information and then it goes to do if it's decide you decide when you want to do it and then it shows up on your calendar you can also create another view which is just grouped according to the date property for the delegate one as well you can do one grouped according to the person you can also add a checkbox which is just to mark it as delegated so yes you've delegated this you've outsourced this then it disappears from this view or you can do it like here if i tag someone then it will disappear and then also for the delete view here you will just delete all of the tasks now obviously you can do a lot more with this you can link it up to your virtual assistant's database like i've mentioned you can add a template button you can add a projects database and link your tasks to projects but for this video i'm just keeping it simple and basically just wanted to show you how to create an actual eisenhower matrix formula the last thing that i would add however is going to be a button so let's just go ahead and add a button let's call this one inbox and then here i'm just going to use this icon the action is going to be to add pages to and then this eisenhower matrix and then another step which is going to be to open this page that we've just created as a side peak view and now if i click on inbox then here it will add a new database entry into the inbox and i can also just move this around so let's just do it like that and then you can just organize it and like process it straight from this or you can go to this view and then here you can add the date property and you can decide when you want to do it or if it's important urgent etc and then everything will be processed and shown wherever it needs to be shown the link to this template as well as my notion consultations and both my free and paid communities can be found in the description below thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one